G'day Chikani baby. <clears throat> How are you mate? Hope you're doing well. How's the angles? Yeah, pretty good. What did I do here? What did you do here, Deno? Just wanted to do a quick clean of the airbrush. What are you doing, son? What's going on, Jacani baby? You having a good uh, having a good day, mate? Just so you know, this says H2O. This is what Gavin gave me, except it's methylated spirits. So don't treat this as H2O if you ever come to my house and you're like, hey, Deno, can I have a quick little drink of water? A little sip. Don't do that. That'd be real bad. Classic Gavin, hey. What an absolute peanut he is. Alrighty. And you go there. Just move you out of the way. Hey, Marwin, what's happening, mate? Starting the stream off with something very exciting. G'day, Celery. Um, doing a little bit of airbrush cleaning, which I know people love. Two bucks, you subscribed again. Didn't you subscribe on Monday? I mean, I'm okay with you subscribing as many times as you want. Because as far as I'm concerned, your money in my pocket is, is a good thing. Haha, <laughs> well I'm about to start my word painting stream. Hey are you doing are you doing anything for Word with their with their streaming for play word? And if not, why not? If you ever um, want some really useful airbrush cleaning uh, tools, this little jobbo is a dentist's um, thing called a pickster. Ah, oh, Clarky, what's going on, mate? I was just talking about you. I was just telling everyone about my water bottle that <laughs> you gave me. It's filled with fucking methylated spirits. Alright, that 
actually enough. Yeah, I know you gave you gave it to me. You, you fuckwit. Don't you remember? You brought it over and you said, "Here, you just keep this one." And I said, "Thanks, Gavin. What a what a wonderful human being you are." And you were like, "Yes, I know." When are you coming over on the weekend? Are you coming over? Fans of the show are desperate to see you, mate. I really are. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I'll let my girlfriend know that my time is taken up with my one true love. One Gavin Slidy Bard Fast. The great man himself. <laughs> Makes one of us. All right, good. I'm pleased. I'm pleased that was relatively painless. He says as he spills metho on the fucking cardboard. One of your best, Deno. One of your best. Sure, it'll be fine. Well, you'll be the first, literally the first person to ever see it in the flesh. That, that's not true, actually. There's one other person who's seen it in the flesh. And that is my cleaner who came in. G'day, Joe Skynet. Uh, we actually, fortunately, we came out of lockdown on the weekend. So, uh, very lucky for us. Yeah, my cleaner, Clarkie, she rocked up. And she was like, hello. And she asked if she could take a photo of it. So, she's a woman of good taste. Alright, so I, I cast uh, some photos of this piece that I'm working on to my girlfriend and got her approval, opinion. And she's always very uh, very direct and straightforward with me, which is great. And, uh, and her feedback on this piece was that she didn't like the hair and she didn't like the skin, but she did like the marble column. So well, that's helpful, thank you. <laughs> We're going to change the hair. We're going to change the hair. I think what I'm actually going to do um, is make the hair orange or a, or a desaturated orange. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to start with the hair now. So, um, I didn't play the video, but I should have, she would have been even more impressed. You don't need to play someone a video, mate, when they're standing in front of it. It's just an obvious statement, but there you go. Yes. Well, my girlfriend's a ginger as well, so I'm hoping that if I paint her with a ginger hair, she'll be more appreciative. Clarky, I've got no kids, mate. Like, I've got no kids. What do you want me to do with my money? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Change my girlfriend. I'll tell you said that, Joe. She's not going to be happy with you. Desaturated orange. I like this colour. Light orange. I like this colour. But let's go for a... Oh, maybe we'll go red oxide. Actually, that's a good idea. The red oxide is the colour that we used on the column, so that'll tie the two together. Which is going to work. <laughs> I'm quite partial to a ginger myself, mate. My 
technology Gavin can tell you about one ding, one one uh, ginger that I dated that didn't go so well. But aside from that one, gingers are great. Uh, what are you swapping me for, Gav? What model do you want? Purulent yellow. Go, if anyone gives you lip, mate, don't forget you're you're a mod on this channel, so you can ban people. So if anyone's sledging you, you just you just bring that ban hammer down on their faces. I've got a present for you when you come over too. Uh, one of your favourite things. Paints, in case you're wondering. <laughs> I think we're about ready to rock and roll. So, black and maybe some green, some of this desaturated green. I don't think Gav plays wing attack. No, I think he's uh, he's more of a it's more of a sideline operative. coach mate he's the absolute jet of a coach all right yeah I'm unhappy with this uh, I'm unhappy with this gold idea I really have no idea what to do with the gold maybe we maybe we shouldn't make it gold maybe I should go for a more of a bronze color Uh, so friends, if you uh, if you didn't see, I did release the first video in my Kingdom Death campaign, and I then followed up with the second video. G'day, Sleepy Slain. <laughs> Still in the same position. You should probably get a doctor to come and inspect you, mate, if you're still in the same position. Let's see what we can do about this hair situation, I think. Oh, oh Princess Lake could work. Yeah, mate, um, Kingdom Death, wow. What a, uh, what a stitch up that fucking game is in terms of the price of models. So he, he, what, what happens is he releases... Um, uh, collectibles and he does it purely to tap into the FOMO and the collector the collector people in this hobby and there's a number of them and because his subject matter is well endowed ladies um, there's definitely a market for that as I'm sure most of you know And so, and he usually makes, I think he makes 500 copies of each model and he does a first run and then he does a, uh, an encore series. And so the first runs are limited edition. And so they're, they're usually the ones that you see going. 
but because he's just like he cannot keep up with the demand the, the guy has no uh, ability to manufacture as many products as people want to buy which is like if, if you want to get right down to it it's business 101 right but he can't he can't seem to get it going on so there's just this plethora of people who want to buy his models and they can't like the expansions, the original 12 expansions from the game, were out of stock for about two and a half years. <laughs> and people were clamouring for them. Just like, we want to give you money, mate. Please, let us give you our money. Oh, cool. You'll have to let us know how they perform. Uh, that box that Topulus got was ordered from the manufacturer when they finally came back into stock, but that, that was, I think that set was 1500 bucks US. Yeah, it's coming out alright so far. Here's the owl. And just so you don't think I'm disparaging collector people before about King Death. I have literally bought everything I can get my hands on for Kingdom Death. I am one of those people. Uh, the only thing I haven't fallen into the trap of yet is trying to collect all of the all of the little single individual models that he he's released, the first runs and so forth. Because if I fall down that hole, um, I'm going to be absolutely fucked. Uh, Gavin, I'm using uh, the base colour here is Red Oxide from Chimera. Uh, and then I'm using some... Uh, AK third gen um, colors mixed into highlight to build up the volumes to give us our saucy red head. The gold smoke knight is a beautiful model to paint. The flower knight is Many people consider it the best model in the range. Um, yeah, if you can get a hand on either of those, they're, they're awesome to paint. 10 out of 10, wood bang. Yeah, it's, it, it comes in the original Chimera. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's just like a, like a dirty burnt red sort of color. It's nice, nice color. keen for a good cheeky swap. That is a good question, Sleepy Slang. Uh, the, the light that I'm using here is a daylight bulb from uh, the brand's called Daylight um, and it's a Task Light Lumi XL and it is on the maximum brightness setting. 
Uh, I also have another light above my head so that my face is illuminated, which is also a fairly bright light. However, um, normally I would only paint with just this one and have no problems doing so. Zoom in a bit for your friends so you can see what's going on. Oh yeah. Well, let me know what you got mate, you know me. Draxy! Hey mate. What's going on, legend? Alright mate, send me a message and let me know what time you're coming. Uther, the 75mm made or the smaller one? Nice. Whoa, cool. Hey, what paint range did you use for this? Is that, that, is that oils? Oh, Liquitex, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's got, a, got quite a shiny um, look in that photo, particularly in that area there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's cool. I love the blue reflections. Um, yeah, that, that's such a fucking nightmare to try and paint his face though. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I didn't enjoy painting his face. this orange change. Two hands, fuck I haven't watched that movie in a long time. Yeah, I already am a fan of this approach to the hair. problem at the moment is because it went black. We're gonna slightly fuse this skin tone.
Get out, Dan's around. Love a contrast paint. Big Dino does. Loves one. <laughs> yeah, so if you have any interest in uh, in Kingdom Death or learning to play Kingdom Death or seeing my models being used, painted in a game that I played. Uh, Check out my YouTube channel for my Kingdom Death campaign. Ah, oh, g'day, Mini Mansa. Uh, Sleepy's saying, I haven't had my first vax, mate. We, we're actually not allowed to um, have a vaccination in Australia uh, unless you're in a specific category of people, uh, those in high risk categories or, or roles that require them to. Um, be deemed essential um, because I am not in one of those categories I am not eligible to receive a dose of the vaccine um, which is okay uh, fortunately where I am there's not a lot of cases of COVID uh, there's not a lot of risks um, for me so I'm not um, I'm not in a rush I'll get it as soon as I'm able to get it I've signed up to get it but <coughs> um, yeah for the moment, it's just uh, we wait. What a lovely thing to say. <laughs> I hope you don't die for it. I'm sure you won't, mate. Very rarely do they put vaccines out in the market that kill a lot of people. Notice I said a lot of people because AstraZeneca does have some. Uh, Small numbers of cases of people from blood blood clotting. <coughs> yeah, correct, Joe. I mean, we, we're very fortunate in Australia that we don't have a a, a need to rush. Well, we were. Um, there's a few states now that are struggling and are starting to push the push the vaccines quite quickly. They're probably a couple of months off doing that for us, but as I said, I've signed up, get it when I can, and in the meantime, we paint some toy soldiers.
All right. Ah, oh, good for you, mate. Well, I'm sorry you can't see much on your phone. I don't know that I can fix that, really. the model's tucked up against a giant stone column. You don't have to worry about painting it. It's a great time. And I, do, I, I actually sold my copy of Dark Souls, not because the minis were bad, but because I wasn't uh, likely to play too many more games of it. Um, I played quite a bit of it, so it was uh, it was good good experience. But yeah, we, we sort of felt like we'd played as much as we could play. Uh, but it's a good, yeah, good models. The PVC plastic, the quality was really good. I, I think if you go back on my Twitter, I've posted pictures of the ones I painted. You'd have to go back about five years because I painted them when I first received the box back in whatever year it was thanks Shadow Yvray
<laughs> Don't know that this one qualifies as a historical, unfortunately. It's close. But no, this, this falls into the realms of fantasy artwork. Barely. <laughs> Just trying to get the balance right on this hair. I want it to have a focal point without necessarily detracting from the rest of the piece. Because again, we, we've got this really consistent uh, lighting and we want to have the, the hair sort of match in with the lighting as well. So, now that I look at it, we might need to take that to a little bit more of a coppery colour, which is okay because I've got it here. And given that I'm going to do that, I might as well do this. I do have a fairly girthy pillow mate, yes. Let's figure out this damn armor. Because I think we just cracked the hair code. <laughs> You're certainly painted some cool models, man. Or woman. Or other.
every every time you paint, I think it's important to set yourself a goal, or or at the very least understand what you're trying to achieve. And for many people, uh, they don't go into painting a model with a clear goal. Um, I do have a clear goal, and that is to enjoy myself when I paint toy soldiers. Um, that goal is not always consistent with the I want to push myself, go out of my comfort zone approach that many people encourage for um, improving. Um, and whilst I do want to continue to improve and continue to get better, it's not my primary focus. So, um, to answer your question, uh, I still feel challenged and feel out of my comfort zone when that's a decision that I'm choosing to take to try and push myself to get better. So that's a conscious choice that I'll be like, and, and this is a model that I am making a conscious choice to, to be a little bit more um, uh, desaturated than I normally would like to be. But it's a choice. I think if you don't know that that's a choice, um, then that's that's part of the problem that you that you've got as a painter because you need to know why you're doing it after all. Completely pork sorted these eyes. I don't know what I was doing. I was really happy with how they were looking, and then I just fucking went cactus on them for some reason. Let's try and make them a little bit bigger. It's just, it's, it's so important, like I can't stress how important it is to, to go into a model, into a painting and know what you want to do because if you go into every model going, I want to enter this in Golden Demon, you'll paint two models a year and you probably won't have a very good time doing so. Um, if you go into every model saying, hey, I just want to fucking get this model ready for the tournament that I'm attending on the weekend, great. It's, it's the not knowing that'll that'll get you into trouble. And when I say get you into trouble, you're not going to fucking get in trouble. But you you just you're not going to enjoy your hobby, your output, because you don't know what you're trying to do with it. Anyway, let's see if we can fix the eyes that I fucked up that I was happy with.
Very close, very close, Tenno. Let's get a little bit more eyeball in there and a little bit more eyeball in there. All right, cool. Yeah, I told you. I told you they were back a fair way. <laughs> Outstanding. All right. Silvery, goldy, bronzy, something. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning more towards this, the silvery, purpley colour. Let's see if we can make that work. Yeah, um, 20, 20, I think, I think we're doing the 27th maybe. It's in the last week of this, of this month. Is my first stream. Haha, <laughs> Nicky Jags. What's happening, mate? Hey, Robbie's hobbies. What's going on, mate? I do, I do like that. <laughs>
You can't you can't just go into Google mate and and Google funny jokes and post funny jokes in the chat and be like, hey guys, how funny am I? Come on now. People see through that. It's okay, mate. You don't need to bring something to the stream to be of value other than yourself. That's what I've been trying to teach you for the last 17 years. Indeed. Maybe I'm just highlighting this surface wrong. I can't I can't seem to get a get a grip on this. This is a very small model, friends, like it, it, it looks big. Um because it's seventy five mil, but it's a it's a small it's a small model. The Varnus Temple, thank you for following. I'm doing well. Doing well indeed. Um, uh, recording a Kingdom Death campaign and having an absolute blast doing it. I'm really enjoying painting this model. Queensland Model Hobby Expo is proceeding um, as planned, which is unexpected but tremendous. Yeah, many, many positive things happening right now. External to work. Uh, look, mate, it, it can be brutal. Yeah, um, the brutality is lessened a bit when you when you know 
uh, what's happening. There's a lot of ways you can mitigate the brutality, but fundamentally you're still you're still playing in a dice game, and that has a um, a risk. It's a salute. It's a little guy saluting. I had to ask that same question, mate. Don't feel ashamed or embarrassed that you had to ask that question because I had no clue. Boomers, eh? <laughs> of which I am one. Well, technically I'm not. I am a millennial, barely. I hope that he takes offence to that because I'd like it if he got offended. Make me chuckle. What's the ballpark mini? I don't understand what you mean by that, mate. This is a this is a bold decision, do you know? It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it pays off. She does have a Princess Leia vibe, you are right.
is for those who were on the stream the other night we were talking about I actually get a Deja Thoris vibe from this which is a character from a book series Thirties of the new twenties is what thirty-year-old people say to convince themselves that they're still hip and got it. I'll give you the hot tip: you don't. And neither do I. Neither do I. Yeah, I'm very close to forty. Very close. Very close indeed. See you, Shadow you've Ray. The braces and necklace look better. Thank you, mate. Yes, I'm working on those now and hoping... Hoping I can fix some of my earlier fuck-ups. Cool, Celery, yeah. It's, uh... Certainly seems to be working better than what I had last time. Little Shorty Wang, I feel for your name, but I welcome you to the stream.
Do I have a favourite lining technique? I don't, mate. I don't know that there's many different ways to do it, is there? I mean, you're just drawing a fucking straight line. That could be amongst one of your worst ever questions, Mini Mansa. It's like asking if you have a favourite breathing technique. Oh yes, I do. I do it like this. You know, just just be fucking calm with this mate don't fucking go crazy alright fuck I'm going to go crazy I know it alright that's better I've desaturated it slowly yeah good good calls been doing yoga mate but it was an example first thing that popped into my head I know, I know what he meant. Just thought it would be fun to respond in the fashion that I did. I do like picking on Americans. I don't know the answer to that question. So I would also like to know. I do worry sometimes about, don't take this the wrong way, my American friends, but I do worry sometimes about Americans because I've visited America on several occasions and they, they have asked me some absolutely ridiculous questions. Do you ride around in kangaroos? which I of course responded yes. Let me tell you what 
type in the school. I don't, I don't, uh, don't use null model, mate. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend you didn't ask that. I thought we were friends. Now when did Chipotle? When did Chipotle? I think I'm about to do this as well. Wow, yeah, I've used a lot of this colour, this coke and copper. Wouldn't have got the letters if I knew they wouldn't fit. Oh mate, it's not Party Monday. Hados Barbados. We only dress up like that for Party Mondays, mate. And today is just a normal Wednesday. I haven't watched all of Inside by Bo, I've only watched a few segments of it. Uh, it does appear to be quite confronting. Bow tie is absolutely acceptable, mate. The, form, the more formal, the better in my books. You know, if we could, if we could get everyone in full black tie, um, that's good. Anything and everything, all of the time. wear a dress mate. Quite happily wear a dress. You know that about me anyway. Looks like I will be able to make it down for uh, CanCon this coming year mate. Well, that's the plan anyway. See you, Minnie Mansa. Uh, KenCon's going ahead for the moment. For the moment. The organisers have this obstinate approach that they think it's all going to be fine. I'm less convinced as a person running the painting competition. I'm less convinced, but I'd also like it to go on. You should definitely come to Kank on Nicky Jokes. Bring Stevie, bring the kids. We'll have a great weekend. Yeah. 
Uh, no, look, Meg and I are running it together, um, with, uh, with me doing the heavy lifting and her getting all the glory. I like that. I like how that looks. Let's do the cloth. Chad Michael Taylor. Thank you for following my friend. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Or night. Don't you lie, Hados Barbados. You love Big Demo. You love him. Six AM, you lunatic. Go back to bed. <laughs> Wouldn't have got the peppers if I knew they wouldn't fit. Wouldn't have got the cheese if I knew they wouldn't fit. Wouldn't have got half of this shit. I'm okay with small mistakes. If you got no more chicken, I'll take pork. Alright buddy, you're one of my favourite people in the universe. I hope you know that. Stay frosty, cheese bag. Oh, lifeguard Leroy. G'day, mate. Leroy Jenkins. I really don't like this fucking this thing going on up here. But I'm just going to hope that no one pays much attention to it. It looks okay. Alright. Yeah, I've had about enough of this... Uh, this particular component. So we're going to paint some fabric. So we're going to do a we're going to do a neutral orangey. Yeah, 
a neutral orangey coloured thing that I haven't really decided yet how we're going to do that. Another option is green. Maybe I'll maybe I'll mull over a green. Yeah, the tiara, it sucks. Uh Question, am I doing any more airbrushing deno? I don't think I am. So I think it's time to glue this down to the base. Yep, let's do it. I always have to ask myself, <laughs> is it a good idea to glue this to the base? Because I tend to jump the gun on the base gluing. Because I'm just like, yeah, I've glued it on the base. Woo! <laughs> But I think it'll help. <laughs> I think it'll help with my perspective on what needs to be painted next and vice versa. So. Whoops, sorry. That's okay. It's not actually glue. It's uh, this stuff. Zip kicker. Which is a super glue drying accelerant. Oh, the hair looks good now. Here we go. Cooking with gas now. That's the angle where you get all of the light. This is the angle where you get some of the shadows. And then this is the angle where we need to we need to do more work then. Oh, thanks little shorty Wayne. That's awesome, mate. This is the angle that needs more work. But before we do that, you can see we've got a big old gap here. And I can't really fix that much with PVA glue, so I'm going to have to use some uh, I'm going to use some Vallejo model putty because I think it dries the quickest. If I can find it, I know I've got some in here somewhere. Yes. Plastic party. Uh, 
Uh, if you haven't seen this, this is a uh, a putty that that comes in as a liquid, and you can actually apply it with a brush, and it dries pretty quickly. Pretty quickly, it is it is white, which is um, means you do have to paint over it, but I'm not concerned about that. Normally I just fill in gaps with PVA glue, so but that's a pretty substantial gap, probably because I didn't glue it in the right spot. Also her legs. Um, Uh, no, it doesn't, doesn't usually shrink, it usually stays, it keeps its shape pretty well. Yeah, liquid green stuff is not much chop. This stuff's pretty good. I, I wouldn't use it for for a, a surface that wasn't okay with being a little bit sloppier. But yeah, it goes A-OK -okay in my books. And just like my other paints and so forth, I can usually dry it with a hair dry pretty quickly. Good one, Deno. Get your fingers on that shit. <laughs> Does mean we're probably gonna have to finish the stream maybe we'll see yeah it is water based That should be sufficient, I think. I can fill the rest in with PVA. Uh, so I'm just going to hair dry this for a few minutes.
just going to put a little bit of PVA in some of those smaller gaps, like around the feet. And we'll do some more. PVA glue is actually really, really good at gap filling, and I think I feel like people think I'm joking when I say I use it like this. It dries clear. It has a slight sheen to it, but you can use a matte varnish and it disappears. I pretty much do all my gap filling with PVA unless it absolutely requires the use of putty. This is dry by the way, the, uh, well, the whole layer is not dry but enough of it's dry that you can keep working. Alright, I'm going to mute the microphone so you all don't have to hear my hair dry going for the next minute or so. It's not completely dried. Oh, Jim's made my box. Yeah. I'll have a message you back. going to try and
Too soon. It's it's sort of little little things like this, right? Just the just a flush line between your your joins. Really small thing, but can actually make a pretty pretty vast difference in how how your model presents at a at an event or similar. So I remember reading an article by a guy called David Soper, who if you're not following on social media you should definitely follow David Soper where he talked about taking this piece to a tournament called Salute, I think it was. It was a pretty big convention anyway. And they gave him some feedback about the model. It didn't, uh, it didn't end up winning uh, any significant awards, but I think it still got a gold medal. Um, but yeah, the judges specifically critiqued the fact that the model didn't sit flush with the base. That, that article that David wrote, Sopa wrote, has always stuck with me and I thought I'm going to look out for that whenever I'm judging and I'm going to keep an eye out for that on my own models. So, yeah, crazy, crazy painter. Alright. Honestly, friends, rather than risking uh, this, because I, I feel like it's not quite dried yet, and I don't think uh, it's worth me pushing it, I think we are actually going to just finish up tonight, because I don't really feel like starting anything else, which means this will be the thing I try to finish when I paint on uh, Saturday night with Gavin. We're going to do a Saturday night stream with my mate Gav, Gavino. Oh, perfect. Yeah, bring, bring it tomorrow. And I'll grab it. Early afternoon, okay. That's awesome. Jim, so Jim's the guy who makes all my plinths and stuff, and he, he's made me a box for transporting Camelot in, and it's, uh, it's ready to go. I'm very excited. Uh, pay, pay someone. I'm just gonna pay Jim right now. Uh, Good's that. That's exciting. That is exciting. Yeah, Gavin, 
Gavin is going to be uh, joining us uh, on Saturday. Unfortunately, unfortunately, um, Rapid Transit. That's not the US stream. That'll be that'll be your late Friday night. Hey, Finn, There is a playlist, uh, mate. Can you can you send me a message on some sort of socials or on here? Actually, is fine. I'll link you the rest of the videos that I've uploaded. Um, I've recorded 16 now. <laughs> so. Uh, and the playlist is... And, and while you're here, can I ask you a question? The, the fucking hand fight, right? It's just, I find it so hard to get actually invested in doing that fight. It's just, it's just so sloppy, right? Because it's just so dumb. Uh, there's two videos public now. I've done, I've done year two, and I'm about to upload year three probably tomorrow. I, I just, I, I did the hand fight the other night, and, and I was just like, I couldn't, I couldn't even. It's like block, 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 block. Who's got the insanity headband? Great, nine times in a row until you get to applause, and then you're like, cool. Now can I roll a seven plus and make my survival awesome, or do I need to spend a fucking survival? <laughs> it's just, it's just so silly. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, there's the playlist. Third video will come out tomorrow probably. I might just quickly tweak this area because I'm not happy with this at the moment. Ah, oh, Wampa! What song would you like me to sing, mate? Uh, I don't really, I don't really care if they if they if people see him, mate. Like. I've listed them as uh, unlisted, so. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, every morning you greet me, small and white, clean and bright, you look happy to greet me, blossom of snow may you bloom and grow. Bloom and grow forever. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, bless my homeland forever. It's, mate, every time I get there, I'm like, cool. Here is here is a fight where I get to make survivors better and do nothing. And I just got, I got so sloppy during the fight when I was recording it. And I, I watched it back afterwards. I was like, I probably should refilm this because it's just me just going bleh, 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 bleh. But anyway, most of the rest of the ones, I, I, I missed seeing Nicky Jags. I did a Gorm fight, level two. The first time I did a level two Gorm fight, I forgot that he retches at the end of every turn, um, which ha came into play twice where it would have impacted something. Um, and I had a shit tons of survival. So it wasn't, he, he, his first um, AI card was the one where he runs forward and tries to, um, he falls over, he knocks himself down at the end of his act, the end of his, end of his AI card. So it wouldn't have triggered the first turn. And then everyone just went <laughs> whacked on him while he was down. And then there was two other AI cards after that where he would have triggered it. Um, I fucked up the Dragon King, so I didn't know I've never used a Dragon King before, this was my first time, so I was really excited. And there's these yellow cards in his hit locations. And the first time I looked at it, I assumed it was like, um, uh, like the Manhunter's hit location that you can't actually wound it. Um, the trap, the trap light location, but it, from what I can see, it, you can wound it. So I just wasn't rolling to wound on it, so I probably stooged myself. Um, and then I think I've made uh, one or two other small, um, 
like small mistakes, but I think I've been pretty clean uh, for most of the videos, which is good because I haven't played in 12 months. Um, how did you find the how did you find the layout and stuff? Did it work? Um, switching between the scenes and stuff, did it work okay? Do you reckon? So I'm, uh, I'm about to face level 2 butcher in the video I'm going to record probably after this now that I've finished. Um, and I've got a lot of fucking resources in my settlement storage, so I really need to beat the guy. But I don't want to send in any of my good survivors, so... But yeah, I'm in pretty good shape. At this stage, based on my experience before, at this stage I should comfortably make it through to the smoke night but at the moment I feel underdone um, underdone for damage I've got plenty of evasion so I should be able to survive the fight but yeah I just don't know if I can crack the armor 27 at the moment what I've got But yeah, if you if you can uh, just catch me if I if I fuck anything up in the in the videos that you watch, just let me know so I can I can amend the uh, Klingon subtitles accordingly. Okay, I'm happy with that. I think I just want to tweak this eyelash thing a little bit more. I actually enjoy all the butcher fights. Awesome, I appreciate that. Actually, if you want, mate, and if you want to do something for your patrons, I'm happy to give you the links to everything before they actually get released. So, if you want to give them to people early or something. Cool. Alright. I'm enjoying it so far. This angle looks good with the light and the hair, the hair sort of works here. But I might just add a few little, uh, a few little layers of light on this section because the sideways angle, you can see this part of the hair doesn't really, doesn't really sit flush. Um, I'm sorry, it doesn't really have enough light in that spot there. My release, man. I'll be finished recording the series probably by the end of next week. I've done the last, I've done the 16 Lantern years in the last seven days, six days. So it'll be finished quickly. <laughs> so you can just release whenever you want. You know me, mate. I need to fuck spiders. Uh, one part, I think our skin's finished except for this, this uh, shadow side. So we need to add the blue lights in the hair here. We need to just really smooth out these, these blends. They're not quite right and potentially add some light. And then I need to add more blue tones to this part of the uh, column. So we'll, we'll keep chipping away uh, with this on my next stream, which is with Gavin on Saturday night, my time, which is Sunday, uh, sorry, uh, Saturday morning for the Europeans. 
and Friday, late Friday night for the American champions. Just making sure I like everything and the colors. I think that's that metal works. It's still not my favorite metal. I'm, I'm struggling with those volumes a lot, but I think I'm gonna leave that as is. And yeah. Yep. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Oh, I'm not actually sure. I'd, I wish I watched more Olympics than I did, mate, honestly. I watched some. But, yeah, I just, I, I couldn't, couldn't find an opportunity in between my other activities and hanging out with my girlfriend and my dog. But, uh, but yeah, I just, I couldn't really watch as much as I would have liked. I think we did okay in the golds. I think we finished fourth or fifth overall for countries. For gold medals. All right. Uh, mate, I, I, I bought Madara. We played it four times. We got through, halfway through act one, and we, uh, I sold it. You know, you know the, the thing that it pissed me off about the game? And this is, this is like, um, a game design thing. The problem with the game was every time you would level up your equipment and every time you would level up your stats or whatever, get new equipment, the monsters would level up to the point where it always, every single roll, was invariably you just needing to roll above average on it, like average on a bell curve. The statistics of everything just, just escalated in, in a perfect bell curve. And so it was just like, can you roll seven on 2d6? Well, 55% of the time I can. There was, there felt like there was very little um, interplay and counterplay um, outside of can you roll that. And um, I ended up feeling really bored with the combat by the end of those halfway through the first act. There was elements of it that were really cool and I feel like they were like, 70% of the way to a really unreal game. Um, and the story, the, I mean, the story wasn't my cup of tea, but you could tell they'd put a lot of time into it and you could tell they were passionate about what the story was and what they were trying for it to be. So that's fine, not my cup of tea, but yeah, it just, it felt like they, they missed the mark with the game design. And maybe it would have gotten better, but I didn't give it an opportunity to find out. And I think that's, uh, in and of itself, enough of a enough of a issue. If someone's not willing to keep going because they're that bored with it, doesn't matter if it gets better later on. I'm looking forward to Aeon Trespass Odyssey. They look to be on schedule, which is good. I really like their latest couple of updates. So, anyway, let's take a photo of this for Twitter friends. Bless my homeland forever. Blossom of snow, may you bloom and grow. Bloom and grow forever. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for, uh, for Iron Trespass Odyssey, probably play it solo. I can't really get, it's hard to get enough. Um, in, mate, my, my dad's favorite song, my dad's favorite movie when he was growing up was The Sound of Music. And so he made us watch it when we were very young and I loved it. And I've watched The Sound of Music probably more times in my life than any other movie that I've ever watched. So I could sing to you pretty much every song from The Sound of Music if you would like. Um, it's a great song. And that's actually one of my favourite moments too, when um, Von Trapp, Captain Von Trapp's singing the song with his children and he asks Maria to stay. I want you to stay. It's one of my favourite parts in the film.
I still feel like something's missing. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do a blood spatter. Because the, the piece is called Blood Temple. So I think we're going to do... I think we're going to do some blood spatter. Alright. I've vacillated enough. <laughs> We've just cracked over two hours of streaming. That seems like a good no, a good time. Who have we got fucking rocking about that we can go and have a raid on? <laughs> I see Nalind is on. We haven't raided her for a while. Oh, um, Mufasa did not die. He's pretty good. What's he doing? Um... I'm just, you know, I mean, I like to, I like to have a look at goobers, troublemakers, Mickey Dorky. He raided us a little while back, but he's he's only a Spanish, a Spaniard. I think we'll raid Nalin. She, we we are a raid, so let's uh, let's raid Nalin, shall we? Raid Nalin. Raid Newland. You're all amazing friends. I hope you have a fantastic uh, rest of your week. I'm looking forward to seeing you all on Saturday night with Gavin, my good friend Gavin, who is hopefully going to be here to have a chat and hang some shit on me. So I will see you all soon, friends. Raid! Thank you. 